fail. Um, so down in the basement, like I just did a little clip of a video about finishing up the plumbing. Um, we upsized everything just so, just because we could and we should, and we put clean outs all over the place so that things could be snaked or whatever for future potential problems. So what I'm starting on now is the floors are a little bouncy. The house is pretty empty and from what I understand, I'm throwing up air quotes, um, the, cause I'm not really sure, but I'm told that the TJI joists, which are wood I-beam joists, should have weight on them and that helps remove the bounce. So when it's empty, you're gonna feel bounce and a little bit of flex. Okay, um, but we also experienced, uh, we had some cracked tile in the foyer and that can be from just that little bit of flex. So what I'm gonna be doing today is pouring those up. Now this is a 16 foot span and you see the, the I-beam joists which are like an OSB plywood in between laminated um, pieces top and bottom. So technically these should have bracing in here or bridging where it's metal strapping that goes from the top of one down to the bottom of the next, up to the top of the next. And what it does, it prevents twist and it prevents flex. So we don't have that option because it's already completed. So um, what we're gonna do is we're going to laminate the webs, which is the OSB, with uh, another sheet of OSB, just 7 16 glued, stapled, and some screws to hold it tight. And then ultimately what we will do is connect the bottoms with a piece of strapping or um, I'm thinking a piece of three-quarter plywood. It doesn't need to be huge. So, all right. So I will check back in when I make a little progress on that. Until then, have a great day.